Hello there, I'm Isabelle, and today I'm making a couple of different things. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. This video is gonna be a bit different than my usual ones because I've been working on multiple things since I posted my last video. But I'm not really close to finishing anything, so I thought I would share some snippets of my progress so far. So grab a drink of your choice, get comfy, and let's get into it. One of the goals that I've set for myself this year is to learn how to 3D model. I bought a 3D printer last November, and I want to be able to make and print my own designs. I downloaded an app called Nomad Sculpt, which is a 3D modeling software for tablets. I paid around $20 for it, which in my opinion is a decent price. And I've been slowly learning how to use it for the past 5 months. Here are some of my very first 3D modeling attempts. For this one, I tried to remake this little guy that I made from clay a while back. And uh, <laughs> the end result is uh, rough. I think this one might have been my very first try at making something that's not a sphere. And you know, when you're a beginner, you gotta give yourself some grace. Even though it's not the way you want it to be, you're learning. You're learning the interface and the tools. You just need lots and lots of patience and practice. And as the saying goes, practice makes perfect. And to motivate myself to practice, I purchased this little display shelf. And you're probably like, okay, but why? Well, my goal is to fill the shelf with little figurines I design, model, print, and paint. I'd like to give each row a theme. And for the first row's theme, I pick magic. I already got started on some of the designs. I came up with the idea of cute animals wearing little wizard cloaks. I tried to keep the designs fairly simple for now, since I'm not exactly a pro at 3D modeling yet. Let's start with the cat since it's my favorite. And I'm really proud of how the model turned out. It's so cute. I separated the model in two pieces, so it'll be easier to paint once it's printed. And all painted, this is how it came out. This little guy looks so 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 cute. I can't believe I modeled this on my iPad, and I can hold it as a physical object in my hands. That just blows my mind, to be honest. I did a few other test prints and did some adjustments along the way. The first time I printed the cat, this key was too big. So I had to sand it down to fit in the hole, second time, I made it way too loose. <laughs> it's like a bubble head. And on the third time, I got it right. One thing I love about this design is how plain it is. So you can really change the appearance with the paint job. For example, I already painted the spare one. The eyes are a bit wonky, but it was just for fun really. I have two more test prints that I'm almost done painting, so let's finish those together. And I'm not using any fancy paints for this, just the ones I already have at home. The goal here is just to have fun and try to make all the cats look different from one another. I'm also using watercolor pencils for the eyes and details, and then I activate the pigments with water. I painted the cloak pink first, then decided orange would look better, so I repainted it orange. And the star a golden brown. I added lines all over to make a checkered pattern. It's a bit wonky, but whatever. Then I glued the head on. 
then the tail and that's it for this little friend let's do the other one i chose a purple for the cloak and orange for the star Then for the eyes, I decided to try something different and do half closed eyes for a grumpy look. But I don't know, I think it turned out a little weird looking. I feel like he still looks somewhat cute at this stage, but I went and goof and decided to give him eyebrows. I don't know why, but it was a bad idea. <laughs> and now he just looks silly. I suppose this further proves how versatile the model is. Anyways, I glued him together and he's all done. Isn't it neat how these cats all have the same base, but all look so different from one another? Especially this one. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Moving on to the froggy now. I used the cat's cloak as a base, then I built her head on top. The first attempts were not that great, but I worked on it until I was satisfied. And this is what I ended up with. I printed it and was pretty happy with it, but when I put it next to the cat, she's a bit small in comparison. So I made the head bigger and reprinted it. She looks a lot better now next to the cat. I think maybe I could give her a little witch hat. I tried modeling one and it looks good from the side. But from the front it's giving a pilgrim's hat. Which isn't really the vibe I'm going for. So I'll have to work on it some more. I think I'll print one more version with the hat and paint the two latest version in another video. So with all that 3D modeling practice under my belt, I can start using it as part of my regular sculpting projects. I'm currently working on a commission. I won't reveal what character it is, but he has wings. And I tried making an armature for both wings from foil and wire, but I couldn't make them symmetric. And it was driving me crazy, so I sculpted the basic armature shape on my iPad and asked my dad to 3D print it on his 3D printer. Which is the type of printer that prints with plastic filaments, while mine is a resin printer. The plastic filament is a lot lighter than resin. So I have two symmetrical and lightweight pieces to use as a base that I sculpted the feathers on top with air dry clay. And by the way, I didn't sculpt the wings entirely on my iPad because I'm not that good yet. I still need to practice. And in the end, that's how the wings turned out. I think they turned out really cool and I probably wouldn't have managed to make them this lightweight with just clay and foil. So that's pretty awesome. Ugh, 3D printing is so cool. And it's gonna be such a great tool for future projects. Ugh. I'm so excited. And that's about all I had to show you for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it was different than my usual ones. So let me know if you enjoyed this format. Hope you have a great one and I'll see you next time.